Oh, glory be, it's a handicap. Goodness. One more five furlongs, 0 to 70. Gosbeck Spell, Derek Hinton, Countess, Daniel French, Mulberry Tree, Martin, Le Ram, Matt Cooper, Clarity and Obi Wan, Q Corner, Nick Driver, and Altia Bouquet, Matt Cooper. So, all oh, those group ones we've had so far. Now we've got a 0 to 70 handicap. Where do the horses rated 70 to 90 go? Anyway, all right, and racing. Only a few more times for me to whinge this season. Don't worry, chaps, you'll be shot of me soon. But it's Laram who's gone off into the lead. Gospec Spell is second. Mulberry Tree is back in third. I'm going to say it now, and I'll say it again plenty more times today so that everybody gets to hear it. There are 12, yes, listen to that, 12 Group 1 races today on the final day of the season. Do you not think the final day of the season should be all-inclusive for everybody and not just for the Group 1 trainers? 12 Group 1 races on the final day of the season. I should not have been commentating today, but poor old Nick couldn't do it. He's got too much work on, so I've had to do it. I think it maybe would have been better if I hadn't have done it, because I'm going to do a lot of whinging about the way this league is completely set up for those Group 1 trainers, and the poor old handicapped people get shut out of it, and that's why a lot of the people that come along do not stay, because they get fed up of seeing the same people win race after race after race. Quite a few of the top races, not their fault, I'm not blaming them, win more races in a week than some people win in a season, and it is not fair. And until you do something about it, this league is never going to progress. It's just going to have people disappearing. Anyway, Laram's in the lead with seven furlongs to go. Gospec Spell is in second. Mulberry Tree is in third. Then comes Q Corner. Claritin's after that one, and then Countess. And finally, Ortia Bouquet is the back marker. I'm going to make that speech two or three times today, so apologies if you hear it more than once, but it needs saying. Nobody reads anything in the forums anymore. Um, this league is dying on its feet, despite what people say. And unless something drastic is done soon, it's done. Anyway, past the five foot on pole they go, and the Ram is in front. Gospec Spell is in second. Mulberry Tree is in third. Big gap then back to Ortia Bouquet, and then Countess, Q Corner, and finally Claritin. And past the four foot on pole they go. And the round four, Matt Cooper in front from Gospec Spell second. Mulberry Tree is in third. Big gap back to Ortia Bouquet as they pass the three furlong pole in now. And La Ram is in front. Mulberry Tree chasing in second. Gospec Spell is back in third. Then there's a big gap back to Q Corner. And they've got two furlongs left to go. And La Ram is in the lead now, being challenged by Mulberry Tree on the outside. Gospec Spell the top weight into third. These three are still well clear with less than a furlong and a half to go. And it's Le Ram and Gospec Spell are pulling away now. Gospec Spell for Derek into the end of the final furlong. Goes half a length up on La Ram in second. Forget the rest. They're not going anywhere near these two. And it's Gospec Spell and Le Ram. Gospec Spell poking its head back in front. Le Ram trying to close up towards the line. Gospec Spell takes it. Le Ram is second. Q corner third. Then Countess or Tia Bouquet. And finally Mulberry Tree and Claritin. So Derek Hinton takes the 0-70 with Gospec Spell. Derek Hinton's a man who takes grade 1s regularly as well. Le Ram second for Matt Cooper. Q Corner third for Nick Driver. Countess for Daniel French fourth. And Altia Bouquet for Matt Cooper fifth. So good win there for Hollywood Hinton. And on to the next one, which is probably another Group 1 race.